I want to deal a little bit more deeply with the question of points versus details. A lot of you ask questions about that. And when we distill these messages down to such simple things, you know there's more to a message. People will, do, you might be given 10 minutes to do a presentation. Not, I mean, you can make a point in a minute this way. And so there's more. So what is that? And that's usually the details. We often find that the same story, the simple story structure can be told in a minute. You can tell it in 15 minutes with more detail. You can do an hour long presentation on that story by going into more detail. You can do a four hour presentation with a lot more detail. So there's some difference between the points versus the details. So if you click forward, what we've got is two different types of things. There's the story and there's the details that flesh it out. And there's something very skeletal about this you know, main character, problematic beginning action to take you to a better place. Main character, beginning, middle and end is really skeletal and the details flesh that out. So let me, so look at all the things I threw under details, which is like dumping the bucket out reports and charts and supporting data and examples and evidence and oh, BIM fly throughs is not your market. Um, different points of view, graphs, maps, scheduling options, exceptions to the rule. There's a lot of details around all the points that we have to make. It's better to know your point than it is to know all the details, but you often are then grilled on the details. So how many of you have had a chance where you're given five minutes to present, you make your point, and then the leader picks you apart and starts asking all these questions? Um, they're getting into the details. So my advice here is to know what the point part is and to be able to separate the two. I will often make my point and then flesh out the point. Or I have the option to talk through the details and build to my point. But I want to know where my point is. I want to be ready to, to say it. And that's where I spend more time focusing on is finding the point inside of all the details. Um, <clears throat> any questions about um, where details go and what, what they're for? Let me, let me give you an example. It's my, for, more from my world um, in construction. Um, which is actually really funny to say because I've never worked in a construction company, but I developed these construction sales pitches. Um, you've all heard of prefabrication, right? Prefabrication is when they build the parts and they come in finished. Here's a less than one minute story that we pitched to a hospital because um, we were selling prefabrication stories. And here's what the story sounded like. Your hospital main character who is in the process of renovating the fifth floor of your hospital, you're gonna face a lot of disruption issues when you go in and try to build out the, uh, the, the fifth floor and try to stay open at the same time because it's gonna take six months. The dust, the vibration, all of that is gonna make it very difficult to do the kinds of things that you do at your, at your hospital. What we would like to leverage is prefabrication. And we believe we can take about 60 to 80% of the entire process and put it somewhere else. We can manufacture in clean environments and perfect things, get all the parts ready. And then we're gonna bring them in and assemble them with only 20% of the effort because the rest of it's somewhere else. That's how you're gonna stay open. You're gonna be able to have very minimal disruption that's carefully scheduled. And you're gonna be able to keep doing your surgeries and serving your patients across the months it takes to build this thing. That was about a minute, maybe it was a minute, 10 seconds, short. I made a pretty clear argument for prefabrication. They might ask a question. Now let's go into the detail side of that. Well, what can you prefabricate and what can you not prefabricate? Well, there's some details. We can prefabricate all the bathroom units, but we're not gonna be able to prefabricate the structural changes. We have to put the walls in here, but we can bring in all the, all the toilets and the bathrooms. Guess what? We found um, a way to prefabricate the operating rooms. They're gonna show up with everything but the equipment. You know, so you know, you're gonna talk through that for a while. Then the client might also wanna know, 
how are you, wh what's the traffic route that you're going to drive in these parts? When, where are they going to come in? And we might say, we're going to have to take them in the south side of your building because the traffic, the streets are broader. The narrow streets on the north side are too narrow. All of that's detail. So I might actually talk for 20 minutes about prefabrication, but my point I made in a minute. So let me ask you a question. Do you have any, um, do you have any questions about the difference between making a point and unpacking the point? That's what I call the detail side. Make the point, unpack it, or unpack it and, and put it into a point at the end. Those are your basic two options, but you wanna have clarity between which is which.